Today's Bible study is titled, Speaking the Truth in Love. You will often hear believers mention speaking the truth in love, but if you will pay close attention, compare such mention with the scriptures and particularly the note context of the scriptures, you will likely find that something is amiss in most instances. Let's look at this popular scripture saying and pay attention to context. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Ephesians for verses 14 to 15. So, the specific context of Paul's instruction was in regard to Paul's beseeching, as follows. Believers would Walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Ephesians 4 one be and this given the word of God and the work of students or teachers of the word fulfilling the calling of all believers till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God Ephesians for verse 13a and the goal of understanding the word of God in this regard was that the believer would henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive Ephesians for verse 14. In other words, the goal was that believers are two. Study to shew thyself approved unto God to Timothy 2 verse 15 and thereby be able to handle their Bibles and thus be a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth to Timothy 2 verse 15. With these as givens, then and only then will the believer or student of the word be such as can be speaking the truth in love and thereby grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ Ephesians for verse 15. Thus, what is described here is the walk of a believer from truth in which said believer has first rested, with the result being an understanding of God's word doctrine and thus a believer who is mature, having fully rested belief, based on a rightly divided understanding of that word doctrine. Apart from such understanding and rested belief of the truth, the believer could easily be tossed about by the human cunning and craftiness of those mishandling the word of truth intentional or unintentional, regardless of motive. In this light, believers are to be speaking the truth of God's word, rightly divided in love, and thereby we are to grow up mature in every way into Christ, the head of the body us who are in him. And when each member of the body of Christ is functioning in their respective role, the body builds itself up in love. Believer, be no more children, but instead walk worthy by studying the word, thereby rightly dividing the word of truth, and thus a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. With this foundation, speak the truth in love. Thank you for watching to today's Bible study.